These disturbing remarks from the Russian president clearly tell us that he is planning something. He made outrageous claims against the West, one being that NATO is entirely responsible for the Ukraine war, and another being that the United States was actively funding rebels against his government. And if that wasn't crazy enough, he then proceeded to declare that he will retake all stolen, claimed Russian lands, no matter what the cost. New reports suggest that large amounts of Russian forces are moving through the country and partaking in military exercises. According to Russian and Baltic news stations, another 60 to 80,000 Russian troops have arrived on the border with Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. This large upscale of Russian military presence in the area has been very alarming for NATO members and the USA, UK, Germany, Spain and France have all agreed to send another 50,000 troops to secure the region. Президент Путин, вы здесь? Да. Операция Ростов готова. Мы ждем вашего одобрения, чтобы начать. Хороший. Хотите, я еще раз объясню план? Конечно. Хорошо, мы собираемся взорвать один из наших военных конвоев, а затем обвинить в этом финское правительство. Тогда мы дадим финам время вернуть нам деньги, если они откажутся, в чем я уверен, что они это сделают то у нас появится повод для вторжения в Финляндию. Что вы скажете, президент? Да, начнем операцию Ростов. As you may know by now, early this morning a Russian military convoy passing through Svetogorsk in the Leningrad Oblast was destroyed via multiple bombs being detonated in some of the vehicles. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has blamed Finland for the attack and he's demanded that Finland give reparations back, or else. American President Joe Biden released a statement calling the Russian claims nothing but a staged act and that it's another example of Russian expansionism and aggression. American Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has said that Finland would never do such a thing and that Russia completely faked the event. Armoton tyranni Vladimir Putin uhkaa meitä sotilaallisella kostolla siitä, mitä emme ole tehneet. Venäläiset yrittävät kehystää meitä ja saada meidät näyttämään huonoilta, mutta on selvää, kuka on todella väärässä. Venäjä on pysäytettävä. Emme anna periksi. Suomi ei koskaan anna periksi. Joten teen teille nyt selväksi, että Suomi ei maksa mitään korvauksia Venäjän federaatiolle. Nyt uutisia helpolla suomen kielellä. Hyvää päivää.
Ensin uutinen autoalalta. Uusia autoja ostetaan vähemmän kuin pitkään aikaan. Syy on se, että uusien autojen hinnat ovat nousseet. Tämä ei ole tietysti. Venäjän sujukut ovat saapunut maan. Ilmaa isku ja uudutetaa seuraavan kaden kunnina ikana. This is not a test. Russian forces have entered the country. Aishtalikis are expected in the next two hours. Artikla fem on aktiv och i tu. Ja, monet matholi i tola i sista novat ur listan ut sådan vill nej eller. Artikel 5 has been activated. And many of our NATO allies have declared war on Russia. Chicken Royale, please. Royale! Chicken Royale! Please do not turn off this device. Important information will follow shortly. Russian airstrikes have been launched at the United Kingdom. Following areas are targets for strikes. Glasgow, Edinburgh, Newcastle, Carlisle, Aberdeen, Middlesbrough, Lancaster and Berwick. If you live in one of these areas, take shelter in a low, secure part of your household. If you are outside, move inside immediately. These airstrikes are expected to hit their targets. Russia's war on NATO seems to be failing, as their offensive into Eastern Europe has been almost completely halted. Certain important towns and cities such as Joensu, Kaka, Narva, Bialystok, and Daugavpils have all been liberated from Russian occupation in the last 35 hours. Citizens of the United States of America, the Russian Federation's tyrannical war on Europe must be stopped at all costs to avoid further casualties, destruction, and escalation. All men between the ages of 18 and 35 must do their rightful duty as an American citizen and enlist in the United States Armed Forces. If you have not got the power to do so, do whatever you can to ensure stability, such as reporting suspicious activity to the authorities or enlisting into factory production to help our boys on the front line. My friends, we must stay united and proud in these times of crisis. Thank you very much.
Okay, here are the latest reports from 1402. Russian forces are believed to be retreating from Slancy, and the American 24th Infantry Division is currently sieging the major Russian city of Skov. A large anti-war movement has begun protests in the Latvian capital of Riga. And unconfirmed reports say that violence has erupted between protesters and police. Newest updates say that NATO paratroopers have entered the center of Slancy and are seizing strategic positions within the area. The small Finnish village of Tavedi is thought to have been occupied by Russia. This is a Fox News special report. This is a Fox 5 special report, bringing you the unexpected news of a nationwide revolution in Belarus. In the country's capital of Minsk, hordes of armed rioters have stormed the government house and have set up barricades in the streets. Riot police and military infantry are believed to have been called in to crack down on these rebels, and intense fighting across the country is expected. This comes after NATO forces begun a pincer movement on the significant Belarusian city of Grodna and begun seizing areas outside the city center. The Belarusian president, Lukashenko, is believed to have been seen evacuating the city in a helicopter from the government house as it came under fire. Belarus, the Eastern European country currently at war with NATO, has capitulated and surrendered after its capital, Minsk, was captured by rebels alongside light NATO support. The rebels had only been fighting the government for the last two days, but it seems that the Belarusian government couldn't handle fighting on two fronts. Russia is believed to have occupied some areas in the east part of the country. This is an announcement on behalf of the BBC and His Majesty's government. With the surrender of Belarus confirmed in the last 20 minutes, we now have a perfect window to strike at the heart of Russia, and finally win this dreadful conflict. In this time, it is more important than ever that civilians follow the law, and do whatever is possible to support the war effort. We ask any able-bodied men between the ages of 18 to 30 to enlist in the armed forces, and do your duty. Thank you for listening to this public service announcement. Догнать его, превзойти, стать лучше, чем он, и вернуться назад победителем. Потому что завтра первый день твоей новой жизни. In a large development in the ongoing Third World War, it has been confirmed that NATO forces have entered Moscow Oblast, the capital of Russia. Russian forces have been retreating for the past few days, and it is believed Moscow will fall within the next week. As seen on this map, Allied troops are actively spearheading towards the Russian capital, capturing everything on the way. The war is hopefully reaching its end. Американцы добрались до Москвы. Ах, блядь. Что нам теперь делать, сэр? Вы знаете, что делать. Скажите Сергею Шойгу, мы прибегаем к последней надежде.
Your kiss tastes like whiskey. And I'm a drinker. You play with my heart strings. Girl, I'm a singer. No, it ain't no joke. You're a smoke show. And I'm a Marlboro man. When I'm holding your hand, you're a wild card. This is not a test. A primary entry point system has issued this emergency action notification for the following areas, continental United States. This is an attack warning. The launches of multiple nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles against the United States have been detected. These missiles are expected to hit their targets within the next 30 to 60 minutes. If you live in a major city or high populated area, seek shelter immediately and bring at least 14 days worth of essential supplies such as bottled water and canned foods. Do not leave your place of shelter until the two week period has passed. After the explosions, radioactive particles known as fallout will be in the air, and if you inhale these particles, you will die. Take extra precautionary measures to ensure your safety when or if you are outside. The trajectories of the missiles have been calculated. The following cities are direct targets for nuclear strikes, Washington DC, New York, Philadelphia, Charlotte, Atlanta, Jacksonville, Miami, Tampa, New Orleans, Houston, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Nashville, Indianapolis, Memphis, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Minneapolis, Omaha, Albuquerque, Denver, Seattle, Portland, Sacramento, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Phoenix, Tucson, Las Vegas, and Salt Lake City. I repeat, those cities are direct targets for nuclear strikes. This is not a test. A nuclear attack from the Russian Federation has been detected. Seek shelter in a low, central part of your home immediately. The following cities are likely targets for attack. London, Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Sheffield, Leeds, and Belfast. The nuclear strikes are expected to hit their targets in two to five minutes. If you haven't already, seek shelter now. Beak shelter now. Beak shelter now.